In this video, we'll find the number of atoms in C12H22O11. This is the formula for sucrose, which is table sugar. To find the number of atoms in sucrose, let's write the elements down first. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. For the carbon, we have a 12 as our subscript. So we have 12 atoms of carbon in one molecule of sucrose. For hydrogen, we have 22 molecules. And then for oxygen, we have 11. So if we want to know the total number of atoms, we need to add these up. So 11 plus 22, that's 33, plus 12, that gives us 45 total atoms in C12H22O11. Sometimes you want to know how many atoms, for example, how many carbon atoms are in one mole of sucrose. To figure that out, you multiply the number of atoms, this 12 here, carbon atoms, times Avogadro's number. When you do that, you end up with 72.24 times 10 to the 23rd. Sometimes teachers like to have this in scientific notation where you have 7.224 times 10 to the 24th. So I reduce this by one decimal. I increase this by a decimal. So this is the number of carbon atoms in one mole of c 12 h 22 sucrose or table sugar. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.